All right, you know, we get these images of galaxies and all that over the years, the Hubble telescope, others, uh, astronauts, when they're circling the Earth or from the moon, uh, when you go to Mars, et cetera, and send unmanned spacecraft. But this is courtesy of NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope. That thing cost better than $10 billion. It's positioned 1 million miles from Earth, and it's giving us our first glimpse of galaxies formed some 13 billion years ago. That's even before the Big Bang and before cable news. So it's a big deal. Uh, we've got Dr. Michu Kaku joining us right now, the theoretical physicist, author of The God Equation, much more. Genius is he, and kind enough to join us. Doctor, um, these images are stunning. Uh, and, I, I, and I know we're, we're told we're only getting the, the smallest of the smallest percentage in, much more to come. What do you think thus far? Well, I think these pictures are spectacular. They're breathtaking. And they realize, you realize there's a whole universe out there that we have not seen, even with the Hubble Space Telescope. This telescope, the Webb, is 100 times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. Wow. And if you look at these pictures, you see each dot. Each dot represents a galaxy, a galaxy of 100 billion stars. So when you look at the entire picture, you're looking at literally a trillion stars. This is incredible. What if you could press rewind on the universe and stop the tape just eight cosmic days after it started? That is effectively what the James Webb Space Telescope achieved in 2024, when NASA announced it had captured the faint stretched light of a galaxy named Jade's GSZ-14-0. The signal began its journey barely 300 million years after the Big Bang, yet it reveals a system already bustling with stars and heavy elements. This single reddish smudge has turned our origin story inside out, leaving us to question everything we thought we knew. In May 2024, NASA revealed a discovery that sent shockwaves through the scientific community, Jade's GSZ-14-0. This galaxy, sitting at a redshift of 14.32, is 13.4 billion light years away making it the most distant galaxy ever observed. To understand its significance, if we could compress the universe's entire history into a single year, this galaxy would be formed when the universe was just eight days old, still in its infancy. The light from this galaxy has been traveling for 13.4 billion years, and in that time, it has already become surprisingly luminous, massive, and chemically rich. But here's the crux. Jade's GSZ-14-0 shouldn't exist. It's too bright, too complex, and too mature for a galaxy that formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. And this is where everything begins to unravel. If we're so wrong about this galaxy, then what else are we wrong about? If this galaxy has evolved so rapidly, what does that say about our entire model of the early universe? Everything we thought we knew is now suddenly on the table. How did Webb uncover this groundbreaking discovery? Through the incredible power of its instruments, NIR CAM Near Infrared Camera and NIR SPEC Near Infrared Spectrograph, Webb's 6.5 meter mirror collects light with extraordinary precision, allowing it to peer into the very heart of the early universe. When Webb aimed its instruments at a seemingly empty patch of sky, it detected a faint smudge of light, a galaxy so far in the past its light had been traveling for over 13 billion years. With the help of near-spec, astronomers were able to measure its redshift, confirming it was a galaxy 300 million years after the Big Bang, a cosmic relic from the universe's infancy. Here's the kicker. Jade's GSZ-14-0 rewrites the rules of galaxy formation. If this galaxy's existence is possible, what else are we missing? Our assumptions about the universe are collapsing. And the real question is, how much of what we thought we knew is wrong? Let's talk about what makes Jade's GSZ-14-0 so astonishing. By all accounts, early galaxies should be dim, small, and lacking complexity. Just a scattering of stars slowly coming together. But this galaxy is different. It's already bright, massive, and chemically rich, already containing elements like oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen, the kinds of elements that should not have appeared so soon after the Big Bang. How could this be? In the young universe, the only elements present should have been hydrogen and helium, the simplest building blocks of matter. But 
Jade's GSZ-14-0 shows us a galaxy filled with the rich complexity of elements that are typically found in the hearts of dying stars. This discovery, it suggests that multiple generations of stars must have already formed, exploded, and enriched the galaxy with heavy elements, a process that should have taken billions of years, not just a few hundred million. The more we uncover, the more it becomes clear. We may have misjudged the timeline of stellar evolution in the early universe. The elements present in Jade's GSZ-14-0, they're forcing us to rethink how stars and galaxies form in the early universe. How could they evolve this fast? Let us know your thoughts. But it doesn't stop there. The size of Jade's GSZ-14-0, it's just as mind-boggling as its rapid evolution. At a staggering 1600 light-years across, this galaxy is a cosmic giant, especially when you consider it's only 300 million years old. For context, that's like seeing a sprout grow into a towering tree in what should be its infancy. Our Milky Way is 100,000 light-years across, and yet, this galaxy at just 1600 light-years is already massive in comparison to the early universe. This raises a critical question. How did this galaxy grow so large so quickly? Current models of galaxy formation, they suggest that early galaxies should have been small, dim, and lacking the size or luminosity we're seeing here. Jade's GSZ-14-0 is breaking that model wide open. We thought the early universe was a place where galaxies grew slowly over billions of years, but Jade's GSZ-14-0 challenges that assumption raising the possibility that galaxy formation was far more rapid and efficient than we ever imagined. Jade's GSZ-14-0 is rewriting everything we thought we knew about galaxy formation. Early galaxies were supposed to form gradually over billions of years, but this galaxy is already massive, bright, and chemically rich, far too advanced for its age. A major factor in this rapid growth could be the first stars, or Population 3 stars. These stars were likely much more efficient than we once thought, burning through their fuel faster and enriching the surrounding gas with heavy elements like carbon and nitrogen. This accelerated the process of new star formation. Additionally, early gas clouds may have been denser than expected, leading to faster star formation. The denser the gas, the quicker it collapses to form stars, feeding back into the rapid growth of the galaxy. Jade's GSZ-14-0 forces us to rethink the early universe as a much more efficient and dynamic place. How quickly did galaxies really form? What conditions allowed for such rapid evolution? These are the questions we must now explore. One of the most significant questions raised by Jade's GSZ-14-0 is its impact on our understanding of cosmic reionization. Reionization is the event when the first stars and galaxies ionized the hydrogen that filled the universe, allowing light to travel freely across space. Reionization is thought to have started between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang, but Jade's GSZ-14-0 tells us that this process could have started much sooner. This discovery opens up the possibility that galaxies like Jade's GSZ-14-0 played a much more significant role in early reionization than we thought. If this galaxy was already producing light strong enough to ionize hydrogen at just 300 million years old, then the reionization process may have occurred much earlier than we originally believed. If this galaxy could have triggered reionization, what other galaxies were also playing a role? The implications are huge. Jade's GSZ-14-0, it could be the tip of the iceberg, and the timing of reionization needs to be pushed back. This is not just a matter of one discovery. This is an indication that galaxies formed and matured faster than we ever imagined, potentially triggering cosmic events much earlier than we previously thought possible. Jade's GSZ-14-0 isn't just rewriting our galaxy timeline. It's unveiling a surprising truth. Galactic mergers might have been far more common than we assumed. Recent observations suggest that this galaxy could be the product of two primordial galaxies merging in the universe's infancy, rather than forming gradually over time. Jade's GSZ-14-0, it could have rapidly evolved through a violent collision of smaller galaxies. The discovery of its too dense nuclei it strengthens this theory, pointing to a galactic merger that was pivotal in its formation. This 
changes everything we thought we knew about the role of mergers in galaxy evolution. If mergers were this frequent, they could have accelerated galaxy growth and evolution, shaking up our understanding of how the early universe took shape. The early universe may not have been a slow burn process of galaxy formation, but instead a chaotic, dynamic landscape where galaxies collided and evolved in an explosive rush. Could galactic mergers have been the driving force behind rapid galaxy development in the first few hundred million years? These discoveries demand a major rethink of cosmic history. But these breakthroughs don't stop at galaxy formation. Jade's GSZ-14-0 also brings us face to face with an ongoing crisis in cosmology, the long-standing Hubble tension. The puzzling disagreement on the expansion rate of the universe has only deepened with this discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope it's confirmed some of the most controversial findings from the Hubble Space Telescope, amplifying this debate. Simply put, different methods to measure the expansion rate of the universe still yield drastically different results, and Jade's GSZ-14-0 is adding fuel to this debate. Some measurements, like those based on the cosmic microwave background, suggest one rate, while others, like those from supernova observations, suggest another. And now, with the discovery of a galaxy so massive and mature so early, we're left wondering, how could galaxies grow this fast if our understanding of cosmic expansion is flawed? Jade's GSZ-14-0 challenges our model of galaxy growth in ways we didn't anticipate. Could we be misinterpreting the very foundation of cosmology itself? The crisis is escalating. Are we facing a major breakthrough? Or is it time to completely overhaul our models of the universe? Jade's GSZ-14-0 is more than a discovery. It's a wake-up call. It's forcing us to reconsider everything we thought we knew about galaxies, stars, and the universe's evolution. This galaxy isn't just a relic from the past, it's a testament to how much more complex and mysterious the universe really is. As Webb continues its journey of cosmic discovery, it's no longer just about what we can find. The real question is, what are we missing? With each new revelation, we're rewriting the story of the universe, and Webb is leading the charge. The cosmos is more complex than we ever imagined, and we're just scratching the surface. If you want to stay ahead of the curve and join us as we uncover the universe's deepest secrets, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. This is just the beginning.